Welcome to Anthony's Costco Garage. One the Anthony Costco Garage. And we're gonna be fixing on the Studebaker today. And we're gonna be fixing on the Studebaker today. Sorry. Well, what's wrong with it? <laughs> it, it Dad's trying to take it apart. It's getting rustier and getting it's getting older. We have to put we have to put parts on it. Uh, I don't know if the camera can tell, but that cross member's crooked. Uh, I broke my fenders in here to verify my passenger side is center. I'm thinking that the driver's side set back too far. Too bad you. <laughs> About three quarter inch difference. I don't know what, what I mismeasured or did wrong there, but so now we're gonna hang the fender and see what we got. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna hang this fender with a couple of bolts here. Recheck my center line. Hopefully, just with that, if not, I'll go get a tire too. I'm pretty sure this side over here's gotta get forward. This fender will give me a better idea with the control arm on. That one. All right, well, it's kind of on there with one bolt. All sketchy. Somebody needs glove. Well, we're gonna do a little bit of sled riding here for a second, but this side. Uh, is straight. So that side's got to be cut loose and move forward. And when I'll get off the center line off over here, what I'll do is measure on the front of my frame there, cut it, move it, and then we can continue. Hopefully. Fine. Well, we'll listen. This one I thought this side's right, this side's wrong. Should have checked it with a wheel. So I try to get the other fender and figure out my center line over there. Let's measure this to the end of the frame. More grinding. Take the glasses here, plugs. Oh. Gloves. Grinding. Well, I we get the most of it ground down. Oh, you don't even look at that, are you? Got yeah, most of the ground down, but still, I won't take off too much material. So we'll get a flapper, try to get in there, slice the weld now. All right, get my weld cut out. Got only one pack holding it. Let's go ahead and measure it again. Start tacking it again. It's too far forward. You really be doing some grinding later. Let me change the battery in you. I gotta do some reading again. I don't know. I need to cut this piece out and box this lower piece in. 
Uh, I get it on this side. Really need to do some well reading. Uh, I'm not sure what my next steps is. And I'll share the pictures of what they sent me so you guys understand the struggle is real. He had just old blurry pictures for Studebaker instruction. We got this box in here. Now comes the next scary part. The cross member was scary enough. Now I need to get these tires out of here so I can make room for the new tires to get welded up in there. Uh, I'll start just right in front of the other ones. And just right back here. Before I get too hog wild, I'll make sure I'm not cutting more material than I need to. Because this frame, I guess, still weld to the back side of this frame. And plus, that's what's keeping me all straight and aligned and everything else. But the bottom parts of the frame here are already welded into the old frame, so I'm about ready to fix it in here. Five dollar plasma cutter over here. I bought it off Amazon. I think it's 50 bucks wherever the junk costs. <laughs> Money well spent. I'll use it a good bit now. I have to get my money out. Got some shit going on now. Stab works stressing me out. I get my uh, strut tires measured. Or I think I need to have them cut. Well onto the frame. After doing all the equations you actually do. Here and here. And now, I gotta start putting the Lower our arm together. Make sure it's sitting level. So I gotta block it up. I'm gonna put a jack stick underneath that. Level. Alright, control arm's level now. bunch of welding to do with these cross members not sure how much further I need to go on this I want to start welding my frame together oh, let's keep going I'm not putting any Loctite or anything on this yet there's ball joints thread in of all things I don't like that at all really First thread them in, then put my steering knuckle on. Is it said this at zero? I said it. I'm sorry. 
Got my spindle level. This is level. Now, I gotta read instructions again. I gotta take my upper control arm for this and mount it on here in the center so I can get my correct mark for my vertical on so I can cut this out and get ready to weld it to the frame. But of course, before I weld the frame, I'd really got to do some welding on the inside of that frame beforehand and tighten everything up. And build it up and all that stuff. But I need to make marks on my frame and everything else with this. <laughs> so, bolt it up so I can find the right bolt. Oh. Ah, I think it's off. Dog. Dad, think? I want to check out the. I want. Dad, can you hold my cheese stick? I'm going to tell him. We don't know what's in this thing, but we're going to find out what is in this thing. It is super heavy and it's super long. I mean, it looks light, but it's. As soon as you pick it up, it is heavy. Here we have this thing. One time daddy cut it out. All right, here. Open it up and see what's in the Let's see what's in the box. What's making it so heavy. Oops. A shark. A shark? Yeah. Here we have is a shock. It's greasy. It is greasy. Here. We are going to get more packages. Here we have is adjustable cool sprain. We are going to open up that bag. Did you know something different about that box in the bag? Yeah, you can actually see it, but when it was in the white box, you couldn't see it. So, this is a filtered thing. Here you can see this close. Here you can see this better. Well, where is my upper control arm bolts? Are these your reading glasses? Yes. Oh. Yeah, we're looking for a bolt. Yeah, we need to look for dang bolts wherever they are. Sorry. Caliper bracket. Here we have the caliper bracket. Caliper. Everyone needs to measure in this garage. You go, Rosie, she and your dad can't measure. <laughs> Another pen. We'll bolt this up. And more. Yes, and we always need. That's good plastic out there. Let's level with the bag. Yes. I'm I not. told Dad to wear this cap. I'm gonna put her upper bowl going in. Ah. Uh, pretty well centered. Now, we gotta go over with the whole assembly and figure how far in it will go on the frame to get my other measurement. That way. Get that way. Of all things. There, so tires mount. Stay right where I can see you, okay? Woo! Yeah, that's it. And then I got a box. I'm gonna box this into here and then box that into there. I'll probably do that all on this side. And then I'll get to the other side, but let me get my marks in here. Oh, 
Well, I get my, my measurements for my strut tire. I'm not happy. I, I got to weld it on, but my frame's not high enough right now. To where I want to weld it on and connect it, just connected to the bottom of the frame right now. I got to tie. I got to tie these two parts of the frame together. So I'll cut some more out here, remeasure, and then weld that piece on after I weld up the whole frame. Lordy, have mercy. So. I'm not going to take you through all the steps of that. I'll get you back in here when I get that welded in there and show you how it looks. After she starts looking pretty on one side, at least. Yep. All right. Got my strut tire on. I got my piece of metal space it on top of it on. The gathering level. And now that I have to do the swap. Those I have to do, yep, well in. Oh, I believe I need, I'm gonna need some uh, fish and, plate. And it's bleeding. I'm just gonna buy some instead of making it. And try to get the blood out, mm -hmm. right? One well, of my buddies that's good at welding come here and probably do the finishing welding on it while I sit there and, and cut the other side and make it fit. <sighs> but yeah, she's uh, coming together. Getting close to needing uh, motor mounts. And the steering column so I can cut a hole in the floor next and do more fabrication I think it looks pretty good so far unless you get close Fire All right. Where I get it now. Not sure I left off, haven't started doing any editing yet. That's, I think I showed where I had my strip tire placed on this. Got this bucked in, the stitch welding. Basically right now, I need to cut this and bring this in and weld it. I got a box underneath here. I got fish plate to go right here for extra support. And I got a bigger one to put on the side. So basically now it's gonna be a bunch of welding. Kids, you can't watch it. Why? The welding? Yeah. You can. Uh, I've been working more than I've been recording. I think I recorded like nine minutes yesterday and worked for six and worked about eight today. So all I'm doing here is trying to fix up my crappy welds. I got gussets back here where I butted the frame together. I boxed in the bottom part of the frame. Everything is solid on this front end except for my strut tire. Now I have read instructions how to C notch or notch this part out to get everything level. This has to be level, this has to be level, it has to be leaning back. So I just. A bunch of boring measurements. I'm not really doing an instructional video. Probably what I'll end up doing is be taking all these videos and just making one. Uh, right now I just gotta get ready to. Weld this up, make sure it's in the right spot, weld it. And I'm pretty well done with this side. As you see this side, that side over here is not even close to being anything compared to what this side is. Everything welds filled in, back part filled in. Like I said, there's a plate here, there's a gusset there, there's a gusset over there. All this has been spot welded and put in and boxed in. So I guess I'll find my little level and check everything on this again before I start getting welded into that. Then maybe I'll take you through the assembly of the setup. Go ahead and set this side up. Like good. Right, everything's level again. Let the unforeseen heart just begin. Right, I'm 
okay with my poorly executed wheels. Looks like I get good penetration. So now we'll clean it up and get some primer on this thing. Trouble times are coming, my friend. Ten steps forward, five steps back. We've got some sealer here. Let's go ahead and shake her up. Now, this is a pretty neat tool. There she is. She doesn't look bad from afar. Before I can completely put the suspension together, I need to do the other side. However, I want to make sure my tires the center, so I don't have to cut out all this <laughs> brand new paint and, and all these permanent welds. <laughs> so right now, the uh, the rotors that come with this has the universal bolt pattern. I got my wheel in here to line up where it needs to go. So now I'm going to go ahead and install the supply studs with this and put bearings and grease the bearings and put the the hub itself together so I can install it and then after that I can put the tire on and then we'll see where all this measuring I've done and all this checking and double checking and welding and make sure it pays off here spoiler alert should have triple checked and left. But already have it lined up here. Then you get sick and get way behind. Make sure I drop it down on the right holes. Put my earplugs in, Dad. Safety glasses. This is how I like to install them. The air hammer. Sold. Let's get the bearing. Wow, this bearing's coming in these super tiny box. <clears throat> Expensive as this kit is. Oh man. It already has a race in it. And if it's a race, it won't use that. Now, if you're somebody who does a lot of bearings, actual trailer bearings. I recommend this kit. It's a real good job. Just put your bearing inside there. Put your cup in there. And push down. Worked all the way through the bearings. Go ahead and keep that extra. See if I can install this seal without a seal. Still, 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 see if I can install this seal without a seal installer. Tiny's turd out. Got my grease and everything on that. We'll set that down there. Alright, bearings are packed. <laughs> now I can get back over and put this front end back together somewhat. Mocking up purses. Really, I need to put all the uh, 
the brakes and the steering linkage and all that other crap behind there. I said, I just want to see where my wheel's at. Make sure we don't got to cut all this crap back up. Because I'm an idiot. Because this could happen. Snug this. Your work stool cries a thousand times as it supports your boat. With all its strength. Fender to what we got here. fabricator <laughs> I should have done things differently I think the other side was actually in this side was out Than ever for me to try to get this video out between time and being sick and not having time being sick I actually gotta leave today go to North Carolina I'm gonna try to I got most of it cut out and grind I gotta get this part here grind out and move back so I can get my wheel positioned properly and I can conclude this video until I can move on to my motor mounts and everything else. So hopefully I can get this grind out, tack back in, sand it up, and the wheel on it, and the fender. So we see what this car looks like, make sure it's in the proper position. Need classes on measuring. So yeah, I'm gonna get busy grinding. Everything's pushed back, retacked. Nothing's fully welded this time on this. So let's get the spinner back on and see what we have. <sighs> Maybe we can move forward on this project. I got other stuff I need to get done too. Yep, there it is. Let's see what it looks like on camera. That looks a lot better than it did. 
So of course you got a bigger gap in the back and the way the fender sweeps. I'm okay with that position there. Now I just gotta weld up the other side. And now I just gotta weld up the other side, but like I said, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm gonna get this video out. Try to get the other side welded up and start working on my on my motor mounts and also get the steering rack in here. So maybe we'll start on the steering rack and the motor mounts. Next video. And maybe put the column in. Or maybe we'll work on the Rambler. Or put a shift kit in the speed truck. I don't know. Get plenty to do. See ya. Mountain mama, oh take me home. Count the roads, 